Hi, Potters. How's the uh, world of centering going on today and everybody's life in pottery? We're going to trim a pot. We made a pot, either a bowl or some kind of a vase, and now we're going to see what we need to do to trim it. So let's start with that. There's several ways that one can trim a pot, and we're just going to take one example of it. And this is a pretty functional, traditional way of, of trimming. There's a tool out there called a griffin grip that enables you to put the pot on a, on a, on a base of some form and then it's got some arms coming out and, and that holds it in place. But we're not going to do that. That's too good. We're going to do our own method here. This is a more functional, down-to-earth, grassroots approach to trimming the pot. This is the way it's traditionally done. So after you've made your pot, and let's, let's set up a situation that has a problem in it. And you put it on your bat, because you have a bat on your, on your wheel head. And the reason we're not trimming on the wheel head this way is because this wheel head has pins on it. If the pot were to come loose and move towards the, the pins and hit the pins, it might just fracture and break your nice pot. So, you put it on your bat. We'll talk about wheel head trimming in a minute too. So once you have your bat in place, put your pot down. If it wobbles back and forth because the rim is not even, which is the case many times, if you didn't trim your rim, your rim and it's not even, and then you put it down upside down, it's going to wobble back and forth. The solution to that that's real easy is take a piece of sandpaper and rub back and forth like that and until it doesn't rock. It's done steady. Okay. So here comes what's fun. The first thing you have to do is center it because if you just put it down, as you can see, it's spin. It's not very well centered. You want it no spin at all. So it's just like when we started off in centering clay, we have to now center the pot. And again, the way to do that is anchor your arm on your thigh, put a finger up here, and hold it steady, and let it touch the, the, the pot at its point that is the furthest, or that is the closest to you. See the, the spin around very slowly? There it touches me, and it moves away. So at the point that it's the furthest away from your thumb, from your finger, move it that way. Keep doing it until you get it. You've got to fine tune it a little bit. Then it doesn't... There we go. Now we're centered. We'll do it again. Let's try that. Elbow locked into the thigh. Put your finger out there and hold it steady. Keep the tip. Don't do it with the side of the finger. Use the tip of the finger this way. Find out where it touches the clay, the pot at the furthest point. Look how far off we are. Wow, look at that. And move it in. Still not there. That takes off a wider piece of clay. Or you can use the very tip of it, which tends to Do a little more cutting. I like this especially as I move in towards the top up here. What I'm trying to do in this case is I want to bring this, bring this further in. I want this narrower. Instead of the top being this wide, I'm going to try to make it about this wide. Take a good three-eighths of an inch off. And you'll see why when it's done. You're also going to know your pot, too, of course, before you put it on. Is it heavy? Is it light? Is it thin? So those things need to be, be considered. If it's a heavy pot, you can trim a lot more.
okay. So far, so good. Still, it's not real smooth yet. So we're going to do use our metal rib, our tin metal rib, using the wide side. You know, you've got a rounded side and you have a wide side. We're going to use the wide side and flex it with your fingers. See it coming off of there? It smooths down the rough edges. Gives the pot a look. See that? Look how much more nicely finished it looks there now. So your attention to detail, I'll say that again, attention to detail is critical in making a beautiful piece. I'll flip it over, come down around here a little bit more. Okay, let's move on. So you notice all the time I had my finger on this. So my finger's there, I'm holding the pot in place. Moving it around, cleaning it down. Now, let's change tools. I'll leave this on top of here. So now we're going to start incising a foot, putting a foot in. We're going to use this tool. You all have it in your kits. So it's got a round end and it's got the squared end. We're going to use the squared end. The tip is going to be we're going to make a, a line that goes through it all the way around. And you come in about three-eighths of an inch to a half inch using the tip of the tool. You see how that is? You're going to put a line in there. If you've got a lot of clay, you can dig in. There. That's the beginning of our foot. Then, using the flat, well we'll come back into the middle now of the clay using the same side of the, of the tool. We were using this outside edge here. We use the same edge here and we'll draw it across and it should make a spiral as you're doing it. Then we'll go ahead and use the flat, the flat part of the tool from the outside in or the inside coming out. Just like that. There go. Then the final move of this would be to take your sponge, bring all the water out. You can at that point begin to clean it up a little bit more softens any bridges that you've made. There you are. So we can stop there if we wish now, but we're not going to do that. No. Of course not. What we're going to do is add another, another little twist on the foot. <clears throat> not literally a twist. We're going to incise and make a, a larger uh, part of the foot. So using this tool we're going to start about a half inch to three quarters of an inch down depending on how large your pot is and we're just going to cut right into it as it's spinning at about a medium speed. the edges a little bit. Use your sponge and you can finish it that way. That gives us a finished foot there. Then you go ahead, use a ballpoint pen because it has a nice wide tip to it and sign your name and date it. You can date it with just the year or the date today. Let's see how this looks. So this pot was made by Diane in class. You saw it before. You need to clean off the clay a little bit. But here we are.
And the important part is this edge right in here is keeping this nice and round. If you do that, you're going to have a beautiful pot. And Diane, you've made a beautiful pot here. So that's the first step in, in trimming your pot.